Until recently, the only treatment option for clearing a blocked carotid artery was through major surgery. Now, patients have another option called carotid stenting. So instead of having an open procedure, which requires anesthesia most of the times, now you can have a stent placed through a catheter, which is a needle hole in your groin and your common femoral artery. Uh, so from that standpoint, it has been a good, good advancement for especially people that are high risk for, for standard surgery. On Thursday, September 28th at 4 p.m. Eastern Time, Tampa General Hospital will broadcast live over the Internet a panel discussion on this life-saving treatment. Hospital physicians will view a carotid stenting procedure and answer your questions during the webcast. The carotid stent procedure is one that's taken a while to develop. Uh, people that get blockage in their carotid artery in their neck, uh, we're concerned about that because the, when they reach a significant narrowing of that artery, they have a greater tendency to break plaque off. It goes in the brain, gives them a stroke. The highlights of the procedure will be discussed by Dr. Bruce Zweibel, an interventional radiologist with Radiology Associates of Tampa and associate professor of radiology and surgery at the University of South Florida College of Medicine. Dr. James Leffler, interventional and therapeutic neuroradiologist with Radiology Associates of Tampa and associate professor of radiology and neurosurgery at University of South Florida College of Medicine. And Dr. Brad Johnson, a vascular surgeon at Tampa General Hospital and associate professor of vascular and endovascular surgery at the University of South Florida College of Medicine. You, the viewer, can send in your questions to the surgeons via email during the procedure. Please join us on September 28th at 4 p.m. Eastern Time to view a panel discussion on a life-saving treatment to clear a blocked carotid artery live from Tampa General Hospital in Tampa, Florida.